so hi all in the last video we have discussed about the outliers how to remove the outliers so in today's video because almost we are ready for the data modeling we already have uh, we already reached in the stage of a uh, uh, to to apply different kind of a machine learning algorithm and to predict our satisfaction that people are satisfy or not satisfy but before that i will take you one one uh, analysis that is known as a correlation analysis which will tell which uh, uh which column which feature is a more uh, is more responsible to the our target variable or and how the, they are correlated with each other so this what we can do with the help of the correlation analysis before that what i will did because i know my satisfaction which is my obj, uh, which is my target is in the text form so i have to be i, I will convert it in the uh, in the form of the number so i give neutral as a zero and satisfy as a one and if i map this dictionary uh, to the my uh, my target name then it will be show me exactly what i want and this is uh, pretty simple and pretty forward we can uh, use with the help of the level encoder as well the level encoder is one of the technique which uh, convert uh, our text into the numerical level but i use here the dictionary because uh, we, we are familiar with this now what we are i'm going to show you the how to plot the correlation matrix so i'm define the figure here and then i give the title name that is the correlation matrix i define the cmap cmap is help me uh, to highlight the color which is more uh, related it will show me with the help of the color then these are the numerical column with the target variable i want to find the correlation matrix this is the way to find the correlation matrix between the columns and to annotation means how much percentage it is correlated and if i run this code you can see a pretty good correlation matrix below okay so if i see the flight distance and satisfaction how much correlated so departure arrival time culminant is minus 0 0.052 uh, correlated with satisfaction that is not highly correlated same like the departure delay in minutes and arrival delay in the minutes so these kind of the feature where we remove the outliers are not that much correlated with satisfaction i can see with the help of the correlation matrix and then if you see the positive this uh, 0 0.5 is highly correlated as the online boarding so what people do uh, because i'm taking this project uh, as from the beginner level so what people do the people will use here the feature uh, selection technique how, how how we remove the feature so as this is the categorical feature so people can use here the chi square method chi square test uh, in a statistics is a way to uh, to discard the feature which is not highly correlated and there are a the lot of method which we can use but let's keep this uh, uh, keep this step simple and let's go forward from that so this is the way to do uh, to plot the correlation matrix so as i told we are ready almost for to do the modeling before that we i have to perform some steps because if you see gender customer age type of travel and the class are still uh, my or uh, my data data, data types are the objective object uh, data types so i have to be again convert them to use in my machine learning model i have to be convert them into the numerical level so uh, because here i what i'm going to, going to do with satisfaction i i also did the same step but I, I have only the one column here but when i have the multiple columns so what i'm going to do i'm, I'm not going to write dictionary for every column i'm going to use simply as simple as the label encoder so i did from sklearn dot preprocessing import level encoder then i have i i create a one dictionary i create a one dictionary that is a label and you will understand later why i create then i iterate for column in tf final dot select d types include the object data types and it will select from the columns so if you want to see uh, what are the columns you can see here so gender customer type type of travel and the class are the columns so what i'm going to do here label column then i call the object of this level encoder class and now it will be the fit then it will be the trans label column dot fit transform df final column so sorry here it will also come the df final columns okay so if i see now my head df final dot sorry df final dot head 
it will look like now all the numerical columns i have now so uh, moving forward i'm uh, i'm importing the train test split so from askelon.model selection we are importing the train test split one step before that what you can do here the df final df final dot i lock all the rows but it should start from the second column why i not want this unnamed zero and id still in my data set so if i will check my head then it should start from the gender yes it is starting from the gender so now i split the train test split now i am defining uh, the all the features all the input which are feeding to the model into the x variable so in this what i want all the feature from gender to the arrival delay in minutes because i am not dropping any feature and i not want this satisfaction so i select all the feature except the satisfaction i can use here the location variable then what is my y y should be my the Uh, satisfaction to split the data set i am splitting in the 17 to the 30 ratio so for this what i am going to do i am going to define the x train i am going to define here the x train x test y train and y test then it then it should call this uh, object train test split then it should give me the uh, train uh, this uh, test size so i will be give as so i will give the parameters here i pass the x and i pass the y then i pass the stratify y let's come back to it before uh, we discuss test size test size is 0.3 that means what 70% going to the training data while else 30% is going to the cross validation data now what is a random state so random state is means what it is basically a seed is basically a seed which we which uh, which help us to maintain the proportion of a data in every execution because we going to be execute the data again and again to find the best model so if we not give the random state then every time uh, the, it it, ca it can't maintain the same proportion of in the data set so random state you can give the 2022 2023 as it's coming to the new year as well now coming to the most important factor why i give stratify equal to y stratify is basically what stratify is a parameter which basically is asking to you whether you want to maintain the same proportion of the class in train and the cross validation set that which is original exists in the original data set what what the, what is the meaning of this suppose i break the data into the 70 into the 70 30 ratio now in the 70 suppose some features are below 50 features belong to class a and 20 features belong to the class b right the total is the 70 now same should maintain in every execution same should maintain in every execution so it is basically just asking you whether you want to maintain the same proportion of a class in the train and test set that that what we found in the original data set so so this is how we split uh, how we split our data data set let uh, let's check it how many features are in the x train x test y train the y test so to check this i'm just using the shape and it will be give me the result now it's basically most important point come here now which kind of a uh, machine learning model i am going to use it is a knn so knn is basically the distance based method you have to be convert all the features in the one scale the age the suppose the age is 18 to 20 50 to 70 the different kind it's not in the into the zero one so if you convert all the feature into the zero one then it will be the good but if you are using the decision in the tree based models like the lgbm the xgboost random forest then you no need to be split uh, you no need to be standardize the data so my next step is uh, my next step is how to standardize the data so to standardize the data i'm again going to use the scalar so the, in the scalar preprocessing we are importing the standard scalar which help us to convert the all the future into the zero one because in the next video i'm going to show you how to use the uh, your um, logistic regression the spm that one we are going to implement in the next video so uh, let's stop this video here because next step is uh, particularly basically going to focus in the modeling but before that i will i will show you what are the evolution matrix we have and based on the evolution matrix how uh, how we are going to be test our model performance so basically we have some evolution matrix because this competition is a general competition 
suppose it is a real world problem we are solving the real world problem then it goes to the domain experts it goes to the business people it goes to the data scientists how they are designing the matrix how they are designing the uh, uh, key performance indicator for for uh, for evaluating the machine learning model but this is the anyhow uh, we have the binary classification problem so we have the some standard uh, evolution matrix and based on that evolution matrix we are going to be check the performance of the model say accuracy now i know this is not too much imbalanced data set so i can believe on the accuracy but i have the better matrix compared to the accuracy say the confusion table because it is a two it is a binary classification problem i can i can simply visualize the confusion table i have the f1 score which is a harmonic mean between the precision and the recall so what is the precision what is the recall what is the log loss what is the roc AUC curve we will talk in the next video up to that thank you and take care and bye bye if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for the more videos and let's continue this uh, project until the end in, and then in the next video we will also going to talk about the logistic regression and the uh, and the svm and other machine learning algorithm with the help of the hyperparameter tuning so let's meet you in the next video to that thank you and take care and bye bye